Hi guys, it is November 17. I think my computer is on its way out. I, I must have a virus or something, but I am experiencing now massive problems. The two videos that I wanted to post today, one on the targeted individuals, the other one on um, Houston. We got a problem the Hurricane Harvey victims who are not getting assistance and it's not just my friend in Houston I can every program now even the webcam program for the first time everything is not responding it starts I see not responding not responding and it's very frustrating so I wanted to post this um, to say I'm sorry that I didn't get those videos up yet. Uh, I think I'm going to have to break out my laptop. Um, but I want to thank those who donated. The five of you. Five. The video that I posted last night, Americans are in desperate need of help and our government is spending money like this showing the list on Congressman Posey's site and other lists, the outrageous amounts of money on outrageous programs, projects, 20 million to remake Sesame Street in Pakistan, 2 million for pottery classes in Morocco, etc., 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 while Americans are left, you know, to suffer these disasters and get denied assistance left and right. I want to thank those who left comments who have had your own disasters, Louisiana, and those who have, you said, you know, it took It took a year, other people said, years. I've been thinking about those in Baton Rouge that I met when I went out, wondering how they're doing. Only one was okay that I interviewed, a woman who had flood insurance. But I interviewed her as she was helping her friend take out everything from his house. He didn't have flood insurance. He wasn't in a floodplain. Doesn't matter if you're in a floodplain or not. When man controls weather, they can flood any any place. I am sorry that I wasn't able to get my computer working because Congress just passed legislation uh, mandating a lot of things for FEMA with their flood insurance program that is such a scam because people think that they're getting insurance from private insurance companies because they go to an insurance company and they have an agent and they pay premiums to this insurance company and then when they have a flood the insurance company is sending out the inspector the insurance company approves or denies the claim if they approve the claim they don't pay it out it's the American taxpayers that pay it out oh and it's the American taxpayers that pay for the inspector to do the inspection and it's the American taxpayers who pay all of the fees and expenses that the insurance company accrues just with the paperwork. And, and it's the American taxpayers who pay the attorney fees and expenses should the insurance company be sued. And that premium for flood insurance that you send off to that insurance company, they keep a third of that and send two-thirds off to FEMA. 
and my friend and her husband were denied their claim the insurance company that they were paying a premium to for years in denied now FEMA is mandating that she and her husband continue to pay flood insurance when they have flood insurance through the home association the dues that they still have to pay mandating that flood insurance be paid on a home that they can't get into earliest is probably late spring and if they don't pay so that insurance company can keep a third of the premium and FEMA can continue to collect two-thirds of the premium while they get nothing out of the deal if they don't pay then the assistance that they did receive they have to pay back and what was that assistance it was a measly thousand and something to help them get into an apartment because FEMA denied their extension for the hotel and this is happening to a lot of people in Houston the surrounding areas Red Cross, FEMA denying assistance but that legislation flood insurance premiums are going to go up for everybody annually. I hope I'm going to be able to do that video tomorrow. So, the video that I posted I did ask for donations on behalf of a fellow subscriber. And of the last time I looked at that video it was 695 views, five people donated. And boy, when people do that, it really shows me that there are people out there that care about other people. And two of those who donated, donate regularly whenever I've asked. And both of them, actually, one has donated when I haven't asked, and the other has on her own initiative been so generous with me. And others, one wrote that she knows what it's like to lose a home and have nowhere to turn. So when you have these experiences, when you hear other people going through it, you want to do everything that you can to help them. Another person, you know, I don't, it, the amount doesn't phase me. I've received two big donations when I needed help to go get my things in Great Barrington, bring them down to South Carolina, and ultimately I I don't even want to go there, but if it were not for those two donations, I would not have been able to do it because so few do donate. You know who one of them were, was? My friend in Houston. I didn't even know her then. I never even saw a comment from her because she didn't comment. Out of the blue, suddenly, there it is. She was okay then. Now she's not. So I can't sit back and do nothing.
And I do really thank you for donating, all five of you. Yeah, I guess. Few really care. Is that what we're seeing? It scares me. It used to anger me. Now it just scares me. Because the condition of the human race is, uh, it's not well. And I do believe that it is everybody's responsibility to bring it back to a, a state of good health. And we have to do that in every way that we can. But when now, within this community, you know, the truth community, I, I don't like those terms. I mean, what does it mean to be a community about truth and know, so many know that this is a spiritual war between good and evil and evil is taking out, destroying people's lives, destroying people's homes. When then we sit back and let them get destroyed. What does that say about us? So I am going to put my PayPal address down. I'm going to ask if you did see that video, I hope that you reconsider helping in any way that you can. It's not easy to keep begging, even when you're begging for somebody else. It doesn't feel good. You kind of wish that these things would just kind of happen, and they don't. So you have to keep at it, and I don't know how to do it because I, I'm not good at it, and I'm not a fundraiser, and I'm... So, the only thing that I know is just to speak from, you know, my heart. Um, I do want to read the emails because I know trust is gone and I always feel like I have to prove that I'm not lying and I can't, my editing program is everything, I'm sorry that I can't show you I will in a video uh, when I can get my computer working, but this was the email that I got. Hi, Carol, we just received a letter from FEMA, denial of rental assistance. How in the world are we going to pay extra expenses? 1046 for rent a month, I think, in the video. I said 1126 the video I posted last night. So I was wrong on that. And 189 a month for a storage unit. And that's not that that's all she listed in this email, but I know the additional the premium, the home owners association dues. Um, when you face disaster, it's amazing just to survive it, the outlay of so much money. And if you don't have it, and you don't have anywhere to turn, your circumstances get worse. But she also wrote, I am fuming and angry as hell. 
an email that I got just a couple of hours ago. I just finished watching your video about Americans are in desperate need of help. It was a very informative video and thank you for asking for help. For your subscribers, you understand what we all are going through because you have gone through the same thing in a different way, but you understand. Thank you, it helps to know that. I just wanted to thank you so much for trying to help. I'm going, I'll go and lay down for a while. I hope it helps me feel better. She's not doing well physically. I wish I could do something for you. You, who years ago sent so much to help me. Then she writes, you look tired and I know what you're going through also. I am tired. Um, so, I said in that video last night, if everybody would just give a little, then people could be helped. If, of, you know, the 695 who viewed that, even if you just gave a dollar, that could have eased the stress. for a time period for them. It would have also shown them that people care. And while I would love to do it for everyone, this is a fellow subscriber in need right now. And I do hope that you just help them, she and her husband, help them make this nightmare a little lighter. Help them feel a little less stressed while going through it. But I really do thank the five that did. Because you let me know, even though there's a few, you let me know that there are some people who care. And care is greatly needed right now. Thank you for listening.